Well, uh, we announced that uh, we have a, a bridge financing facility and also a term loan in place and uh, that we are starting uh, the uh, takeout financing uh, as a combination of uh, equity and debt. Uh, you have quoted uh, uh, the uh, equity issues and uh, uh, I cannot go into further details uh, beyond what uh, has been already announced at this point in time. Understood. Uh, I want to ask you about something else. Now, in order to get the deal approved, uh, regulation acquired you, the regulators acquired you to sell off certain parts of your businesses, uh, be they the intellectual property side or, the, or on your research capabilities or even uh, some bits of the business as well to BASF. Uh, I just wonder whether or not you have sacrificed too much of the business and perhaps this may come back to bite you at some point in the future. Well, uh, the combined business is going to be the leading business uh, in the industry uh, that uh, we are going to further develop. Uh, but truth to be told, uh, we would have loved to keep each and every business uh, that we uh, now are going to divest uh, to BASF. Uh, these businesses will find a good home uh, with uh, a stronger uh, competitor with BSF going forward. But uh, as I said uh, in the beginning, we are very much looking forward uh, to uh, uh, compete in this new uh, uh, environment as uh, a leading company with strong capabilities, great people, great products and uh, great innovation capabilities. Sir, can you talk to me about the synergies? In a document you released uh, last week, you, you confirmed that you see about $1.2 billion worth of synergies uh, and the new entity. Uh, at what point did you envisage the deal to start being accretive as far as earnings are concerned? So uh, we are going to uh, uh, see uh, about $1.2 billion uh, in synergies going forward, the composition of which will be about $1 billion in cost synergies and about $200 million uh, in EBITDA contribution from incremental sales by bringing the companies together, uh, serving our customers with uh, a combined product portfolio better. And uh, we anticipate getting to the full run rate of $1.2 billion uh, after year three, so in 2022. And uh, we also assume that uh, the deal is going to be accretive already in 2019 with uh, a slight EPS accretion uh, in the low single percentages. And that is going to go up to double digit accretion already as of uh, 2021. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.